Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little challenge where I time myself for an hour and see what I can do. I'm going to be talking about how I manage my time as a freelance artist. Time management is something that I've really struggled with, and I still do, um, but I've started doing small things during my day that help with my uh, productivity which allows me to stay on schedule. So one big thing that I found out recently is if I time myself I know that I'm going to stick to that time and I know that there's going to be an ending to what I do. For example when I'm painting this piece that I'm showing on screen now I only time myself for one hour so that way I'm forced to do the work then. After that I can focus on other things like admin stuff, emails, I, I can pack orders but at least I get my painting out of the way. So I did this one in the morning and the mornings are, well I'm a morning guy so I get up and I'm dead focused on what I want to do for the day. I love getting up early and uh, going for it and I start to lose productivity probably after lunchtime. I feel like, yeah, I just go downhill from there. I remember watching Casey Neistat a few years ago and he showed his uh, work schedule. It was so orderly that I was like so puzzled as to how he, he could be so productive. Like, how does he get the energy to do that? what I'm, I've been trying to slowly do is introduce that level of productivity into my uh, work schedule. Now I'm not trying to be as pr productive as Casey Neistat because obviously his work schedule when he was doing his daily vlogs must have been crazy and he had to sacrifice his time, his, his leisure time. I'm more focused on instead of working myself to death how can I be more productive in the hours that I am actually working instead of checking my phone or doing stuff that are completely irrelevant to what I'm actually trying to do. So starting off small with setting a goal of doing what you need to do in an hour can really help. It is a great motivator to test yourself and see how far you can go. It's just like I've been getting into running and you know how how far can I run and that's the question so I the first week I ran for 15 minutes straight okay cool so the next week I did 20 minutes and then I upped it five minutes every day and before I knew it I was doing 5k's 10 and hopefully it will go up to 10k's and you know marathons but it, it, you know there's no ending to it it's just you have to break it down into small bits that way you can manage it better and that's the great thing about managing your time and timing yourself and understanding where you are in the day and how how you can manipulate your way through the day if that i don't know if that's the right word but once you know how to manage your time you can do that in other aspects of your life so you can do it when you're going to the gym you know I'm going to work out for an hour that's it done get it out of the way um, yeah so that I think I've been channeling that uh, mindset much more lately um, and it, I guess it, it can only get better it's hard for a reason and it takes time to get better I've always loved that idea of just if I put time into my work I will get better eventually uh, and that's I guess something you, you have to remind yourself when you're drawing is that you know it might not look good now but maybe in a year once you're doing this every day and maybe if you're timing yourself every day it doesn't have to be an hour but it can be like a couple of minutes half an hour you will get better um, so that's about it for this video I hope you have all enjoyed let me know if you're struggling with time management 
or if you are actually going to take part in a little challenge of creating something for an hour give it a go and hopefully you'll see how productive you can be um, but that's about it for this video hope you've all enjoyed and yeah see ya